Well, hello, PS51, and welcome back to Dream Yard. This will be our last video class, so I wanted to say goodbye and leave you with some ideas to continue your art and your storytelling throughout the summer and beyond. Remember, we learned how to do portraits and even figure drawings, so that'll help you if you're trying to draw characters. As far as storytelling, remember, you always need a beginning, a middle, and an end. And it's up to you to decide whether you want your story to be fiction, that's make-believe, or non-fiction, that's real life. You can create the stories that you want to tell, what's in your head and what's in your heart. So I'm going to share a couple of ideas if you wanted to continue the story that we were telling. You remember we're doing a fairy tale and we all became mystical creatures and we even voted for a president of the magical realm? Once you think about other stories that would happen in that world, with a mystical creature. You can start building on those ideas. What other places can you explore in the magical realm? What other characters do you want to talk about in the magical realm? I thought of two things that our story could use. It could use a flag. Every country or nation has a flag. So I think that that could be an opportunity for you to create more artwork. What would the flag look like in the magical realm. So if you wanted to continue our story, there's one idea, create a flag. Here's another idea. Why not create money for the magical realm? Yeah, every nation has money. So I think it's only right that the magical realm should have money too. To begin, get your piece of paper and hold it in the landscape position. Fold it in half and then fold your halves in halves on both sides. That way you create strips of money. You can either cut them or tear them apart. I'm going to use a $1 bill as a reference to create my money for the magical realm. I see that there's a border around the money, so I create the border first. And then I see that there's also a portrait in the middle, so I want to draw a portrait of any mystical creature. I see that the amount of money is on all four corners, so I want to do that on mine too. I've already added a circle in the middle. That's where I'm going to put the portrait. And on both sides of that, I'm going to create my pixie dust stars. Now I want to create a border around the money. And I noticed in the American dollar bill, it's pretty fancy. So I want to add a lot of details to my borders by creating lots of different patterns. Well, I'm going to leave the back for your imagination to create. Remember, just use some money as a reference and come up with your own idea. Uh, well, I hope I've left you with some inspiration. That's the main ingredient in order to be an artist. Starts with an inspiration and then it follows through with some artwork or some storytelling or both. Oh, PS51, I'm really going to miss our time together, but hopefully next year we'll all be together. I'll see you in a better world. Bye for now, PS51.